Crochet, Culture Club, and Career Request. On today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. News. Hey Novi, this Thursday, December 7th, our crochet interest group will be having their second meeting right after school. You can head on down to room 160 and follow them on Instagram for more information. Make sure to be there, Novi. It's a very relaxing activity. Hey Wildcats, Emily here to tell you that Culture Club is meeting Friday, December the 8th at 2.50 in room 182 to learn about Greece. Snacks are provided and all are welcome. They hope you would like to attend. Last week, we reviewed the health sciences portion of the My Career Quest field trip. Today, we're going to be showing you the engineering side of My Career Quest. Boats, cars, and so much more. We've got it all, and let's go explore. Is this yours? Yeah. Uh, I'm just letting, letting the convention use it for advertisement purposes. I'm getting a good cut out of it. It's just good business, you know? Are you serious? I'm serious. So so what, what is this for? I'm actually really curious about this. Yep. So I'm Daryl with Mercury Marine. This is our joystick simulator. So here we're kind of showcasing our V8 engine. So we got a 300 V8 engine tied to our electric steering actuators. And then here we have a display where you can turn the engines left and right with our steering. So if we take our joystick, you see our propellers are moving. Oh, yeah. So this thing behind me says career readiness. On like a scale of one to 10, how career ready do you guys feel so far being at this event? I feel about it like a nine, I would say. So it's been helpful? Oh yes, definitely. It's giving me an avenue into a lot of different things that I didn't even know existed. The stuff that they had there, like the claw machines, the virtual stuff, I appreciated it. Uh, what's this contraption behind us? This contraption is a collaborative robot, otherwise known as a copot. So what does it do? It can do anything that your arm can do. So think about all the tasks that you can accomplish with your arm. The robot arm can do all those same things, but faster and more accurate. It doesn't get tired either, does it? Not at all. So we've all been here for the last couple hours. On the count of three, you're all going to say the coolest thing you've seen here, like all at once, out loud, as loud as you can. Good? Yeah, yeah. Ready? Three, two, one. The boat! And there you have it, Novi. Next week will be the construction portion of the crew request. We'll see you later, Novi, and stay fresh. Hey Wildcats, this is Neil introducing a new segment for the Cat's Eye News. Teacher talks as student listens. Let's dive right in with our first feature, Mr. Knuckles. Uh, my name is Corey Knuckles and I'm teaching all U.S. history this year. Uh, the best part of teaching is working with young people like yourself. It's an amazing experience each and every day to be able to challenge and mold young minds. I think the uh, worst part of teaching is uh, trying to keep track of attendance each day, tardies, things like that, and cell phones. I've been teaching here almost 23 years. Um, I think the diversity of our school has changed the most in 23 years. Um, students are coming from all over the globe now. It's pretty amazing. Um, I think in some ways it's been very positive. Uh, it's allowed us to do a lot of different things that we couldn't do in the past. Uh, but for some of our students, it's become far too much of a distraction. So it's a mixed blessing. Um, I love each, each and every era. Um, I can't really pick just one topic. Yes, I'm the uh, sponsor of Students Promoting Unity and Diversity, and I'm also the sponsor of the Indian American Student Association. Um, I think we have a fantastic school. I consider myself blessed each and every day to be here. Oh, I can't choose one student. Uh, each year, each class, there's different students that have made a positive impact on my life and have changed their life for the better as well. What's going on, Novi, and welcome back to Cat's Eye Reviews. Today, we're going to be reviewing Godzilla Minus One. That was definitely the best Japanese production of Godzilla, and some would even say it's the best Godzilla ever. I still like King of the Monsters more, but I can see how people would say that. The cinematography was beautiful. So many good shots, shots I would have on my wallpaper. The acting for the actors was really good. Uh, I suggest you see it in Japanese, because that's when you really see the emotion of the actors. Overall, this movie was incredible. I loved, I loved there was a lot of uh, moments where my heart was beating really fast. There was one moment where a Godzilla was doing something cool and there wasn't even music playing. It was just an eerie screeching noise and it made the suspense so much better. 
This movie is by far 10 out of 10 in my opinion. I think you should all check it out as well. We'll see you later, Nova. Do you have a story that you want featured on the Cat's Eye News? Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com. Just send us details, pictures, and videos, and we'll do the rest. Hey there, Wildcats. Thanks for watching today's episode. We'll see you next time for another episode tomorrow. And meanwhile, Wildcats, stay tuned. I'll see you later.